remember that one of the things we talked about, we, I mean, we covered a lot, but one of the things we talked about was we want the juniors to start each tournament match, whether it's on grass or clay or hard, whether it's first round finals, start with their top seven patterns. So they have to know who they are and we want them to be very uh, religious at running those patterns and practice all the time, over and over and over. Pattern repetition is probably more important than just rallying back and forth um, if you want to work on the art of winning matches. If you want to just look good in the outfit, then just rally back and forth all day. That's cool. But all right, so who's the volunteers? We okay, all right, cool. What, give me your first name again. William. That's right, William. And pa Paige. All right, so William, I want you to be the serving dude. All right, so when you serve on the do side in a match, so you have a big point, what's your favorite serve pattern? So you served on the tee, and then you're trying to inside out forehand to the backhand? All right, does everybody get his serving pattern? He's gonna do a couple of those. Paige, will you just return, just back down the middle and let him do his two ball pattern? You guys can just do it in like slow motion, you know, it's hard. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> if you guys are gonna be famous, you gotta get used to doing this stuff. All right, so he's gonna run his best serving pattern which Agassi called the double backhand pattern. He's gonna serve down the tee to the backhand and then juice the next ball to the backhand. There's a good pattern. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> All right, let's go, to the ad, let's go to the ad side. What's your favorite on the ad? Okay. All right, so would you do flat kick or slice wide? All right, all right, well, pick one just for fun. Slice? All right, slice wide. Then where would your next ground stroke go? Okay, cool, let's see it. Okay, so again, nice ball boying right there. Okay, cool. So he's running the pattern over and over. Now here's what we would do with the high performance players like this. We would make them run that pattern to 10, but with negative scoring. So if he did it right, if he made both balls, he gets a point up to 10. If he makes an error, it's minus one. And, they, and in California, they have to do it to 10 before he does his second favorite pattern. But let's, let's do it just to, let's do it to five. Okay, this is pressure. You gotta do, just hit two balls properly in your pattern, five good patterns. Got wide, beauty. That's no, okay. Did I get a pump up? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get a point for that. So he's already finding, you know, this pattern works. What the? All right, he's on the board. He's got one. Now, if you want your kids to really trust, have confidence in their patterns, you gotta do pattern repetition. To me, this is way more important than just rallying back and forth. This is how you win titles. All right, he's on two. We're gonna take it, great serve. She's still sleeping. Good. So now, what's his score? Back down to one, right? So this is really important. Remember brain typing for feelers and perceivers? They hate this negative scoring because they, they got to stay focused the whole time, all the way to five. Uh, just a question, yes, keep going. Uh, could also the receiver be working on a pattern? Yes, we're going to talk about that, that's right. We're going to both be working on the same kind of pattern. Yep, right. right on. Awesome. You guys can tell there's like, you can be very creative, but if, if Paige, for example, is a very big, slow person, which she doesn't look like she is, she looks pretty quick, but if she was slower, he would do this pattern. If she's very quick, like a little, we call them like little fast rabbits, if they're fast, the next stroke would be back behind the runner instead of to the opening. So we're on, what are we on, three? Two. Back down to one. <laughs> the club closes at, no, I'm just kidding. No, it's just hard, it's hard to do. 
Yeah? All right. Hold on. Because we got to do um, equal opportunity. Paige, come over. You do a couple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is great. But, so, but often we see this a lot of people on the practice court when they're rallying back and forth, you can't really tell how good somebody is. The both players look spectacular. You go, man, this person looks awesome. But then when you get into real matches, this is what counts. So what's your favorite deuce side? All right, so same pattern, the double backhand pattern. All right, sister. You guys get easy. All right, good, she's dialing up her pattern. I like that when they chuck a bunch of balls at her. Way to go, youngers. Nice. All right, that's her pattern. She's got it dialed up now. Pattern repetition. <laughs> that a girl. So I keep going. Let's do the ad side. Do a couple, but, but you'll see if it's, so if you can add, coaches, this is huge, add negative scoring to all your drills. And then you can work on not only the, the strokes, but movement and the emotional components. If you do negative scoring, it ties in the emotions. It's like simulated stress. Okay, you gotta try to get to three. Three patterns in, in a row. Good question. Give it. No, but tell the, tell, tell these folk. Okay, you guys got it? <laughs> Shh, don't. <laughs> That's great. Kick out wide. That's a pro pattern. She's on one. Ooh. She's on two. Met a girl. All right, so very good. Give them both a round. 